Typically, uh, treatments that we have aimed at cancer have been drugs that attack the cancer directly. This would be chemotherapy drugs and also many of the targeted agents we use. The great thing about immunotherapy is that the drug doesn't attack the cancer. The drug that the patient receives helps to turn on their own immune system, and it's the patient's own immune system that attacks the cancer. So I think this is the fundamental difference with immunotherapy. Since immunotherapy uh, started, and I think the first drug was still FDA approved only about six years ago, we found that, of course, in the initial drug, uh, in the initial tumor types where it was used, like melanoma and lung cancer and renal cancer, that has been very effective. And so the new developments there have been to refine that and to figure out how to use immunotherapy in con in combination with other drugs and in what settings to use it in. More recently, we've seen immunotherapy being used in certain types of breast cancer. We've uh, discovered how to use molecular testing of a patient's tumor to find which tumors, among all different tumor types, are more likely to respond to immunotherapy. So I think those, those things are the most exciting things right now and the biggest uh, improvements. The other area that I think is just as exciting is that I, I feel like we're in about the second inning of the immunotherapy story, where we've got drugs that work in some situations, but we're learning how to amplify the immunotherapy approach in those tumor types that have not uh, initially responded to the first wave of immunotherapy. So I think this story is just going to go on and on as uh, through various manipulations, we figure out how to make immunotherapy work for more and more patients.